up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Here's a returning face. My name's Elias. I have a new car now. We're not gonna try to blow this one, but... You blow stuff? Maybe. Back with another banger. We're about to cut the BRZ up. I know it's a bad idea, but we're doing it anyways. If you guys remember, at the beginning of COVID, I made hood vents for my car with water guards, and they were sick. We sold them. People loved them. We sold out so fast. Due to COVID, unfortunately, we never got the opportunity to sell them again. Here we are, producing more hood vents. This time, we're sticking them on a 2022 BRZ. Without further ado, here are our vents. You can see they're very aggressively styled. These things are huge. Yeah, them motherfuckers are huge. That's what all the ladies been telling me. <laughs> Don't lie. We can show you. Is that a threat of yeah. promise? What we got here for you guys is super simple install. The intention again is give anybody the opportunity to put hood vents in their car. And these are universal. And to make these super easy to install, we're gonna get the template to mark all of your holes to cut on the hood. We have both vents. You have the vent covers and all the hardware that you need. You put the vents on, you're like, damn, I can't wash my car anymore because there's holes in the hood. We got you covered. Literally, you got the water guards that snap on here or bolt in to seal your hood vents to make sure that they're waterproof and no water's getting in your engine bay. Yeah, baby, that's right. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this template, we're gonna place this on the car, and just like that, bam, your hood vents basically installed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be serious out here, and this is really how easy it is. We're just putting the template down. Everything is already figured out for us. All we gotta do is place it on the hood where we want it to be. Trace this all out, drill it, cut it, done. What you won't do? Where's the tape measure? Go. Perfect. Measure this bitch. Six inches. For the ladies? <laughs> this way, put it right on the body line. We're professionists out here. Six inches. Yep, I think that's good. Damn. Okay, that's on my car now. Fuck. Actually, we're not gonna cut that anymore. The fuck do you mean? <laughs> Template is done. Actually, I don't. I don't want to do this anymore. Can we? Can we stop now? We can. It's still not too late to go back. Uh, yeah, let's just stop it right here. I, mean, I think I'm fine with the holes. <laughs> kind of gives it like a cool little design. It does it, give it a cool vibe. The dick right there, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's that's kind of hard. The reason that we did that was so that we can cut with the angle grinder from right here to this hole, to this hole, to this hole. It's literally that simple. Follow the template exactly like how we just did. And all you gotta do, take the hardware that we supply. Actually, paint the holes before you put the rip nuts in so that they don't rust. Do that. That's a really important key. We didn't tell you that, but you should do that. Okay. Now back to the video. Bam. Yeah, insert that thing right there. Yep, yep. You gotta spin that thing right there. Yep, yep. Put that thing in there. Start squeezing the hell out of it. Yep, and start jacking that thing right there. Yep. That's how you do it. You gotta jack that thing, right? We checked our fitment with our template. Now we know that this thing fits. It's time to it's time to finish the rest of the job. Do you want me to do the other one and you do the last one? I'll do this one. Because it's small. Just that one? You don't want to do the big one? I'll do the big one too. Fuck it. There you go. It looks simple. Yeah, slide that up. Yeah. Hey. Okay. All right. Pull that other black out. <laughs> nice. Nice. It is now ready. The big one. It's finally here. 
No. <laughs> well, that's gone into the depths of hell. Yeah, you're not getting that back. All right, guys, uh, we're going on a little side quest to find this tool, I guess. Some dumbass lost a tool in my engine bay. But hey, we're gonna find it. Here we go. We did lose a tool, but there was a casualty. This looks fucking amazing. So obviously we still have a little bit more under here that we gotta trim because I'm not happy being able to see this. I think we need to trim a little bit more. Yeah, we need to trim it. But what do you, th Doug, Dude. what do you think of this? Dude, so my first thoughts was this was gonna be too big or like, I don't know. I, I didn't think it would look the greatest, but this on the car, oh my God, this shit looks fucking amazing. We're launching the company. Links down below or in this right hand corner, get it. Question, so since we have the vent on, what happens if it's raining or anything like that? Like This is it, we'll show you guys exactly. We had the vent installed like we just showed you guys and now we have the vent cover on. So this is to protect you guys from any water. What we call is the water guard. So you can wash your car, drive it in the rain and not have to worry about anything. And it's as simple as the two bolts like this to take it off. This up. And two, all you do, two bolts, you lift up, bam. Exposed vent, water guard. So we have the other vent here. You guys just watched us put the first vent in the car. Now we're gonna do the driver's side. However, as much as we'd love to show you guys, obviously we've got a showcase for the boys on TikTok and IG. If you guys aren't following, it's right here on the screen. But when we meet back up with you guys when we get this vent installed and we have both on the car and it's looking mighty fine. Here are the vents finally installed as you guys just saw by the beauty shots. Elias has actually been using these things for quite a bit. How do you Please. feel about them? Uh, my car ain't blow up or overheat, so. Uh, Sick, you've also used them on the track, right? I so we're gonna include some track, track shots right now of you right. whipping, bang. Hey, how'd you do that day? Uh, actually, I got a 132 S Street to Willow, which is a very great time considering I'm on stock tires. Uh, I had just bought some new wheels. I already had the new wheels, but I just got some new tires for it. So I'm going back there in a couple weeks, about to set some more times, get some more pictures for y'all, more content for y'all. Yeah. And yeah, basically that's it. Yeah, so this has been a very long time coming. Actually, we filmed this video installing this a year ago, and we have not done it because we filmed this literally while I was building this car for SEMA, which is insane because we're trying to do both things at the same time and everything didn't quite come to fruition yet. So if you guys want to get your own set, check out theracesupply.com, grab yourself your own set of kamikaze vents, you get the water guards, you get the vents, you get the templates, everything, ease of installation, and they will come raw or powder coated uh, depending what you choose. I like them and, raw. Yeah, you do like them raw. Um, and not like this. This was literally just, uh, these were spray painted for the time being because we are literally, everything was chaotic and we have not redone them yet because we're probably gonna do something really cool with these in the near future. Um, but with that, that's gonna be the end of this video. Snag yourself some hood vents and uh, like, comment, and subscribe. We out this bitch. Peace. We'll catch you guys in the next video.